It's Friday, April 21st, and when it's Friday, you know what that means. It's time for Comics Forever! Welcome back to Comics Forever, the once weekly Friday show where I tell you about all the comics that we love that you should be reading. This week, I'm coming to you from the suburbs. You know, I gotta keep you guessing, gotta keep you on your toes. And also this week, for no particular reason besides he's just a great guy and a great writer, friend of the shop, James Tynan, is the focus of our episode. So let's get right into it. First up, a book that you have no doubt heard about, Something is Killing the Children. And despite the title, it is a ton of fun. Essentially, monsters are real, uh, only kids can see them, and sometimes they get eaten or murdered by them, and uh, and when that happens, there is a team of monster hunters, um, particularly Erica Slaughter is the, the main character of this book, um, who comes to deal with it, and whatever that may mean. Typically it means killing the monster, but as you will see, there's a ton of other stuff going on there. Um, it's really good. It's supposed to be becoming a Netflix TV show, so, you know, buy the comic now so you can tell all your friends that the comic was better. Probably. I don't know how the show's gonna be. Um, but it's super good. It's super addictive. There's five volumes out right now, plus a tie-in, uh, House of Slaughter graphic novel. So, get volume one of Something's Killing the Children today. Next up, James Tynan teamed up with another friend of the shop, Matt Rosenberg, along with Otto Schmidt, to create DC vs. Vampires. This is one of the most fun Elseworlds, uh, since it's its, it's its own continuity. Everybody's up for grabs. All the heroes and all the villains, and you never know who's gonna end up being a vampire, and it rules. Uh, minor spoiler for issue one, but I feel like it sells the book. Green Lantern turns one of the Wonder Twins into a blood smoothie. Blood smoothie. So... If that doesn't make you want to read it, I don't I don't know what to tell you, because it's fantastic. So get DC vs. Vampires. Volume 1 and Volume 2 are both out in hardcover now. And lastly, from James Tynan, with Michael Dialidis, Wind, the YA choice for this selection of books. Uh, it is so much fun. This is one of my absolute favorites, and I don't typically read YA or fantasy, so that'll tell you something. It's fantastic. Essentially, Wind, the titular main character, is um, born with magic blood, and it is illegal in the town that he lives in, so he has to hide his identity, his pointy ears, and has to, you know, try to blend in with society in order to stay alive. And, uh... He just wants to live a normal life and be a normal kid, and it's super good, and it, it starts there, and then it blooms into this beautiful fantasy world with all kinds of, like, vampires and fairies and mythology, and it is gorgeous. And you will be cheering for all of the characters in this book because you will love them so much. Um, yeah, so make sure you get Wind, book one, out now. That is it for this week's Very Willow Grove and Very James Tynan Comics Forever. Uh, make sure you tune in next Friday for even more Comics Forever. Who knows where I'll be then? I'm, I, I don't even know where I'll be. I don't know where I'll be from minute to minute, truly. So come on this journey with me. Uh, if you need more of my stupid ramblings, make sure you go over to Tales from the Short Box on any of your favorite podcast apps. We just finished our mini-series on graphic memoirs. So go, go listen to all those, and then uh, the new season starts in two weeks. So get on it. Get, get, get listening. And until next time, comics forever. <laughs>